Hello, my name is Emily, as you may or may not know, and wow. Whew! I really have not filmed in a while. And I mean, like, I know that for you guys, it's, well, it's still been a while since I post every month or so. But for me, it's really been a long time because uh, all the videos that you guys have been seeing uh, more recently, those were all, I want to say the last... 12 videos you guys have seen. It's all been filmed uh, in the summer and uh, I, you know, scheduled them to post throughout the year because I can't be filming while I'm in school because it's just, that'd be, no. So I actually haven't filmed in about uh, four months. If you guys didn't know, four months is actually quite a, quite a long period of time. So I'm gonna be honest, it feels a little weird sitting in front of the camera again. You know, I took a little, little hiatus as a, as a tuber. But I'm back, so did I say hello, my name is Emily, as you may or may not know? I don't remember. I'll say it again for good measure. Hello, my name is Emily, as you may or may not know, and today I wanted to talk about the concept of playing hard to get. Now when I say this, I'm not trying to be, you know, quirky or, you know, self-deprecating, but it's pretty rare for me to be in a situation where there's even a mutual liking. Do you know what I mean? Like, you like someone and they actually like you back. Like, that's a pretty rare occurrence for anyone. Moments like these are pretty scarce. So if I like someone and I know that they actually like me back, I'm not gonna act like, like I don't care or, you know, like I'm too cool because guess what? I'm not. I just feel like sometimes the whole playing hard to get thing, it can go a little too far. Hey, so how's it going? You know, what's he like? He's in the bathroom, so I'll have to make this quick, but he's amazing. I mean, he's sweet and funny and genuine, and also his family's like super rich. They own Toys R Us. Didn't Toys R Us go bankrupt? He's also like insanely good looking. I mean, he won a Zac Efron lookalike contest. Granted, the competition did take place in a dark room and the judges were blind, but still. That's awesome. You know, I'm happy you're happy. Yeah, but I'm, I'm trying not to show it too much. You know, playing hard to get. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh wait, he's coming, I gotta go. Hey. Oh, hey, didn't even notice you there, so. So do you like this place so far? It's one of my favorites. It's okay, I guess. I mean, I had a different date last night and I like that restaurant better, you know, mostly because this restaurant sucks. Oh man, uh, okay. I also have to leave early tonight because I have another date after this, so no dessert. I mean, you probably couldn't afford it anyway. You, you have another date after this? Yes, and I had another date right before this one too, which was why I was late. I don't know, I guess I'm just really desirable or something. Guess so. We're also not as cute as all the other guys I'm seeing. Kind of the the runt of the litter, you know? I've been seeing a lot of red and pink starbursts and you're more of a yellow or orange. <laughs> Are you serious right now? You know, I'm usually around more Joes and Nicks and you're just more of a Kevin. Okay, no, that is the last I mean, straw. you're overall just incompetent compared to the other 12 guys I'm seeing. I don't know, I guess I'm just a little unattainable or something like that. I'm also just not attracted to you in any way, shape, or form. Okay, I'm, I'm done. Wait, no, where are you going? Did I say something? Another thing is that in today's day and age, that... Day and age, I sound like a prof... In today's in day, day and day age, age... Shut, shut up. Anyways, today, technology plays a huge role in how we communicate with one another. And so I feel like playing hard to get has almost everything to do with texting. Texting can be a little tricky, you know? There's a lot of things to consider. You know, do I send a wink or do I not send a wink? If I do send a wink, do I send an emoji to show that I'm, you know, I'm keeping it light and youthful? Or do I send, you know, the traditional semicolon parentheses to show that I have some class and elegance? Or maybe I should just not send anything and play hard to get and just don't reply for a few hours. Oh, so they just took 45 minutes to reply? Yeah, I'm gonna take 50. Okay, so they know that I have other things to do, other people to talk to, even though the entire time I'm just gonna be looking at the clock, waiting for the 50 minutes to be over, so I can text them back. And I'm not gonna lie, you know, I'm guilty of this. Like, if I'm talking to someone and they take like two hours to reply, yeah, maybe I'm not gonna be as in a rush to reply to you then if you're a slow texter or whatever, but 
it's dumb. It's dumb, you know? And I feel like a lot of the times it can get very out of hand. He just texted me back. It took him a day to reply. It's like, hello, I want to talk to you. Just reply faster. Well, just text him back, you know, to keep the conversation going. Are you crazy? I don't want to seem desperate, okay? I'm going to lay low, play hard to get. He took a day to reply, so I'm going to take three days. No, yeah, I mean, whatever you want. It's been a month now. Could we please talk about something it's else? It's like, I like him so much, you know? And I only took three measly days to reply to him, and he takes a whole month? Like, you know what? Two can play at that game. Okay, okay, you've been saying the same thing over and over again, every day, and it's, it's driving me a little insane. Speaking of the devil, guess who just replied to me? You know what, you're gonna take a month to reply? I'm gonna take three months. Just shut up already. One year! Stop. It's just that I really, really, really like him. I mean, you haven't spoken to him in a year, so... It's just like, God forbid, that I don't text him back for three teeny, puny months, and then he decides to take a whole year? I mean, it's, it's ridiculous, is what it is. And then one day, out of the blue, he decides to text me, Hey! Whoops, sorry, texted the wrong Britney. It's like, what does that even mean? I don't know why. I keep agreeing to hang out with he you. He keeps playing hard to get, but guess what? I can play even harder to get. Well, you're definitely playing harder to be around, that's for sure. No, he's, he's gonna wait a whole year to text me back? Well, guess what? I'm waiting five years. I'm just gonna leave now. I, I can't do this. Oh. Hello? Ten years! Can you believe no. it? Nope, not again. I've changed my number seven times and you still find me. How? Well, you know what? Anything's possible. All right? Like the fact that so many years have been passing in between these skits and we're still in the same outfits. But anyways, five years is not that long compared to 10 years. He takes 10 years to reply to me. I mean, that is just excessive. It's like, I could have a spouse and children by now, but no, we just have to keep playing hard to get. You know he came out as gay four years ago, right? You know, he has a husband and two adopted children. I mean, it's been a decade, let it go. Wait, he's married and has children? Yes, okay, he posts about them on Facebook like all the time. You just, you need to move on. It's not healthy. Wow, so you're saying that he went off and married a man and started a family just to make me jealous? <laughs> Come on, that's real mature, Trevor, real mature. I gotta say, that is a power move though. He's pretty good at playing hard to get. He wants me so bad. Now, although this video's main focus is why, you know, playing hard to get is kind of dumb. Not even kind, it's really dumb. It's really dumb, uh, but I do understand it to an extent because it's like you don't want to show too much interest too soon because it's might scare the person off. So, what do you do for a living? I love you. What? I've already booked the wedding and bought my dress. <laughs> is... is this some kind of prank? Let's have babies. A whole bunch of them. A swarm of children. I want to have an army of infants with you. <laughs> you're... you're not being serious, are oh, you? Oh, I am deadly serious. I just bought 19 cribs off of Amazon, and before this I went to an open house and bought our first home. Four bathrooms, all with newly glazed porcelain tile. <laughs> Alright, you're, you're really kind of freaking me out. Hello, yes, I'm calling to reserve a spot for my husband and I at the Old Creeks Nursing Home. We're going to be staying there in a few decades. I'm trying to get us the best nursing home in the tri-state area so we can grow old together. I can give you sponge baths and you can buy me yarn so I can knit while we sit and watch Wheel of Fortune before dying peacefully in our sleep. Side by side. Yeah, check. Check, please. So yeah, showing too much interest too soon probably is not a good thing either, but I guess there needs to be a balance, you know, because I think it is slightly immature to uh, ignore someone, uh, even if you like them, just to uh, put on a facade like you don't care or whatever. But the most frustrating thing about that is that it works. When someone doesn't text me back for a while, like, I'm not gonna lie, in the back of my head I'm like, Okay, why aren't they texting back? Like, they're, I'm thinking about them, which is the whole point. And it's, it's... I'm getting too worked up. After a certain point, though, it 
surpasses playing hard to get and it just turns into stringing someone along, you know? No stranger to that. <laughs> People uh, have hurt me emotionally, so. Although I can demonstrate some good communication skills for you right now and be upfront and say that I think you should subscribe to my YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and turn on those post notifications. Ooh, that really just all rolled off the tongue so nicely. I'm becoming a real YouTuber. It's been two years, so it's about time. Well, that's all I have to say for today. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, I mean, the competition did take place. He's also like insane. He's also like insane. He's just insane. Oh my god, my computer just died. I don't know what accent that was. Measly days. I like him so much. I don't text. Wait, I need to get more hysterical. Okay, I don't know why I was whispering. Did the lights just flash or did I just have a stroke? Over and over again, every day, and it's... <laughs> what, what? Oh, that was too loud. Yeah. Let's have babies. <laughs> oh my God. Buy me yarn so we can net and... Oh, I'm deadly serious. I just bought 19 cribs on Instagram. Why was I gonna say Instagram? Instagram doesn't sell cribs. <laughs> Silly me. Before dying peacefully in our sleep, side by side. That was a good one. I felt it in my bones. Hello. Hello.